Oh no. Oh shit. You have an exam right now. Yeah. Shit. Um, All right. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to take that? Yes. Yeah, okay, so just give me a second here. Okay, just give me a second here. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Okay, so shit. Um, you all right? Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. Hello. Hi, Mark. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Good to see you again. So last time we had a bit of adventure. Yes, we did have uh, <laughs> me jumping out of the window, you helping me. Yeah. What happened there? Because I, I, for me, I showed up, we were going to do a video, and then mm -hmm. we saw you in the window. Uh, how, did, how did that all happen? Well, I had an exam that day and I had to go out, but unfortunately the back door that I had to go out was locked. One of my roommates locked it and he left to his work with the keys, so there's only way to get out from the house is either this way, this door, or I have to jump from the window. So this door is locked too, so I couldn't open it, so I, the only option I had is to jump from the window, and there you go, you helped me. And, and, and it was locked, I guess it was locked with one of the, it has a, a key lock on the inside of the door, not yeah. just the outside. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. That's and, so so uh, the uh, burglars the can key. bust in and bust the window and then and unlock it from the outside. They you have yeah. to use a key from the inside to get out. And uh, Anyway, the reason I came in the first place is because I was doing a video about how it's impossible for young people to afford houses anymore in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the third most overpriced housing market in the world when you compare average incomes to average house prices. Yep. And young people are locked into their parents' basements or into rental housing that they don't want because they can't afford to buy anything else. And it struck me that you being locked into this place is like a, an analogy of what uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of young people are locked in mm -hmm. to a bad or a difficult housing situation. And uh, you know, you know, you're a young person, you came here from Bangladesh to study. Uh, have you been able to find any affordable housing? Not after that one. This is the only one I can afford right now, actually, because all the houses all over the cities, it's too much expensive. So this is the one that's a bit lower prices. So I could afford this one, so I had to stay in this one. Well, show me. Show me the place a little bit outside here. Home How many people good. live in this, in this structure here? Like, on the top, five people, including five. me, and at the basement there is an one family living over here. How many in that family? I have no idea. I just saw only three people actually. So maybe so there are some other more, one or two maybe. Seven or eight people living in the house. And yeah. you know it's funny because years ago when this house was built mm -hmm. uh, it was probably affordable for a family, uh, maybe a welder and a waitress yeah. to afford the whole property for themselves and have a nice yard to play in for the kids and uh, a nice home for where they could spread out and enjoy themselves but now housing's gotten so expensive that you have to divide up that house mm -hmm. among eight people and I understand there's even a rental back here in this yeah. uh, this there's some another here. family living in here another too, family so. living there so one of the things I would uh, proposed when I did my first video is that we should incentivize the cities to speed up building permits and make it faster for builders to build more houses um, and also sell off federal buildings that could be converted into affordable housing and finally require the cities approve high density housing around uh, their transit stations if they're going to get federal funding so young people can live right next to transit. That's what I want to do. Let's, let's restore that uh, dream that if you work hard and you follow the rules, you study hard, like Naimor, you won't be locked in. <laughs> You'll be uh, free to achieve your dreams. What do you think? Yeah, good plan? Think, yeah, that's a good plan. I Excellent. Think plan. Thanks very much, my friend. Nice good luck with all you. your nice studies. You. Okay. Good Excellent. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Cheap pair of pants anyway. What's your exam in? English 102. English 102? Yeah. Uh, so you're locked in, you were locked in the place? Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, brother. Well, good luck with your exam. Right. I hope it goes okay. Yeah. All right. See you later, man. Take care.